I, I heard I was trending yesterday uh, because people are saying that I was not supporting Taraji. Taraji will tell you herself that I've been the greatest champion of this film, championing not only the behind the scenes production, but also everything that everybody needed. So whenever I heard that there was something that people needed, I'm not in charge of the budget because that's Warner Brothers. You mm -hmm, know, that's mm -hmm. the way the studio system course, works. And we as producers, everybody gets their salary. That's negotiated by your team. And so whenever I heard there was an issue or there was a problem, there was a problem with the cars or there was a problem with the food, I would step in and do whatever I could to make it right. Not just Diddy. Oprah appears to be making news these days as well. Ayanya Van Zant is undoubtedly well known for speaking her mind. But what surprises me the most about everything is that she is blaming a member of her own family. Yes, it is correct. Van Zant has come up and exposed Oprah Winfrey, a philanthropist, for precisely the same actions that P. Diddy has been accused of. Naturally, Oprah believes this to be just another insidious conspiracy theory targeting her. Kind of give your thoughts on that. Well, this is a really great point about being happier in the midst of an onslaught of being terrorized and vilified online. I will say this, I came out of this experience, I was just saying this to Arthur this morning, with so much more compassion for young kids because I was thinking, what if I didn't really know who I am? What if I didn't have the assurance of Invictus that I am the master of my own fate and the captain of my soul? If you it would have taken you down. It would have ta taken, yes. it, would, it will take you out. Yeah. So all of the online, uh, you know, being- Slander and slammed, attacks. Ooh, attacks lies, conspiracy theories, really took the focus off of what was the most important thing. Here's all the information you require. Van Zant has accused Oprah Winfrey of being a racist and controlling person. Van Zant believes that Oprah has been pimping young girls to Hollywood bigwigs and appearing like an angel when she is not. Van Zant has revealed Oprah's alleged connections to controversial figures in the industry and speculated that Oprah may be trying to silence those who speak out against her. Van Zant believes this is one of the reasons she has decided to take matters into her own hands. Oprah Winfrey is currently the target of criticism and allegations that she dominated the once all white business, stifling and mistreating black musicians. Which was, at that time was all white, and they spit on us and call us bad names. Niggers. Right. Niggers? Yeah. Yeah, you said it. I, said it. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to remind white people as much as I can. I know, because you know, you, and we act like you so would far never removed. know that yeah. right. in New York City mm -hmm. right. today. I don't even know what that section of town, so I became a lawyer. I was going to find me some power. I love that thought process because, like, nowadays people equate power to money. No, it's position mm. and who you know, you know, what you can do. I didn't know that's why I was going to. Actually, I went to law school to prepare me for what I'm doing now because my mind wasn't trained. And law school trained my mind. I went, was in the inaugural class of the Queens College Law School. Now, if your memory serves you correctly, you will remember when Oprah Winfrey was accused of encouraging and supporting sex trafficking and pedophilia, leading to reports that she was a high priestess of the satanic death cult. The post, which was removed from Facebook shortly after, made use of a TikTok video in which Winfrey described the perplexing viewpoint of a seven-year-old child who was being physically tortured and coerced by their abuser. Winfrey claims that even if you cannot put a label to it, it feels fantastic. I used to get comments like, you are insane, since everyone wanted to think that when I first mentioned this years ago, it feels similar to being thrown against a wall and raped during a sexual attack. And I have been saying for years that you will not even notice the abuse is taking place if the abuser is skilled. And as if all of that was not sufficient evidence of the real character of the benefactor. On a talk show, Oprah's ex-wife Barbara, who was married to her father Vernon Winfrey, asserted that Oprah lacks self-confidence and constantly tries to discredit other African-American performers by associating with powerful Hollywood figures and selling her soul to them. Barbara also shared a story about her visit to Oprah's condo in Chicago. Oprah announced Rose's presence in the home over the intercom during the conversation. Within the home, a Rose. She found it amusing. It seemed demeaning to me. She is younger than me. I am aware of its meaning. Even Oprah's connections with CBS co-anchor Gail King and billionaire and lover Stedman Graham were ridiculed by Barbara. She asserted that Oprah and Graham are not in love and have treated their relationship more like a business collaboration. She added that Winfrey only does things for the cameras and that Oprah and King had a strange and destructive connection. Now, Oprah has received criticism from her peers on other occasions as well. Taraji recently talked about how, despite her lengthy career in Hollywood, she continues to fight for black women to receive fair compensation, and that Oprah passed up the opportunity to help her. Um, it just makes me feel good to give. I think as humans we are supposed to be in service of each other. 
Um, and you know, I've been doing this over two decades and some change. And um, it just feels good to to hear because when someone goes, "We love you," or <laughs> oh, woo, really hard like that. <laughs> That means I've affected them in, in a good way. Um, and that was my prayer to God when I started out this journey, was to do work that mattered, work that would change lives for the better. I wanted women, little girls, to see themselves in me. Um, yeah, because I honestly didn't feel like I saw me. They kept saying, oh, she too edgy. I was like, it's a lot of us out here. Uh, <laughs> But also what you're missing is that I'm trained. So don't expect me, when I walk in the room, I'm gonna walk in as me, okay? Cause I'm gonna be me. But I can give you whatever you want on a silver platter in, that, in the pages with the right check attached. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not gonna talk the way you want me to talk because this is who I am. But if I have to speak that a certain way, if it's in the pages, that's what you're gonna get. And it's gonna be served up like I said on a silver. In an interview, Taraji expressed her frustration saying, I am simply weary of working so hard, being great at what I do and getting paid a fraction of the cost. She then started crying. My sisters keep saying the same thing and I am sick of hearing it. I'm tired of hearing <laughs> that my entire career 20 plus years in the game and I hear the same thing and I see what you do for another production and when it's time for us to go to bed you don't have any money as a result a lot of people thought Taraji's recent candid comments had anything to do with the apparent conflict between her and Oprah similarly Monique has also rekindled her long-running spat with Oprah Winfrey accusing her of betraying her and welcoming her estranged family members onto her talk show in 2010 according to Monique family is precious and we never cross that boundary Monique said let me tell you how we operate when we had the Monique show there was a comedian on there and he was trying to joke to his wife tiny my husband walked out in the middle of his set he said cut he said brother we don't do that here we uplift our folks we don't play that so no i would not have done that when oprah winfrey had my family and i'll tell y'all and i'm looking over i'm looking around baby because there are people here yes okay and i don't want to be rude to the people at chess club you got other people in the club right when oprah winfrey called me up and she said i got a call from your brother and this is after i won the oscar award right Right? And your brother wants to come on the show, and he wants to apologize to you for molesting you, and he wants to tell other people how to look out for a predator. Right? I said, Oprah, I said, I don't want anything to do with that cat. Comedian Monique appears to have reignited her long-running spat with Oprah Winfrey, concurring with Van Zant's charge that Winfrey deceived the priceless actor by interviewing her parents, who are currently divided on her program, and using the comedian going ahead for movie roles. Furthermore, Monique stated that she was placed on a Hollywood blacklist in 2019 by Winfrey, Tyler Perry, and Lee Daniels for refusing to participate in the Oscar campaign for the 2009 movie Precious at no cost. And despite winning the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress for the part, Monique revealed that Daniels had told her in private that she had been shunned for speaking up and that too by Oprah Winfrey, who made sure that Monique wasn't paid one bit for any of the efforts she made for the movie. A comparable event, according to Monique, involves an incomplete biography of Richard Pryor at the time. Too, despite the fact that Monique and Daniels had reconciled in 2022, she has demanded an apology from Winfrey on the podcast in order to counter her assertions. Winfrey and Perry ought to be podcast guests, she continued. You have been unjust. Regarding Winfrey, she continued, you have been unjust and you saw the black woman be put under the bus and you said nothing. In so many ways, this woman has crossed boundaries with me. Monique said, well, let me tell you what then happens. The movie The Butler, that movie was offered to me. Lee Daniels came out and said, I did offer Monique The Butler, but as he said to me, he said, Mo. At the time, I didn't have no power and I didn't have no money. So when Oprah said she wanted it. So who played the lead role in The Butler? Oprah Winfrey Lee Days was getting ready to do a biopic on Richard Pryor, and he offered me the grandmother who then calls Lee Daniels and says, I want to be the grandmother. So as you're looking at me, it's the same way I'm looking at that system, and I'm saying, why don't we sit down and have a conversation? Because the way things could look, it may not be that way, but just the way things look. Oprah, just the way you would have my family on your show. Oprah, because I got a king at home. I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter. You just want what's right. We just determined, right? Not life is too good to be bitter, but we're determined for you to take accountability, right? That's all what Sidney Poitier says.
say. It's not how many times you say yes. MHM. It's how many times you say no. And the moment our baby auditioned, they got set up for no trailers. They got set up for no food. They got set up for no drivers because now in their mind they think you're desperate right. So when Oprah does the one-on-one -on -one with Taraji and she begins to run down her credits, the great Taraji P. Henson, then why ever would you allow the audition to happen? Why ever would you allow that? For some background, Monique talked about a variety of subjects during the program, including the turmoil surrounding her family's 2010 visit on the Oprah Winfrey show. Additionally, Monique's older brother admitted to molesting her when she was 7 and he was 13. At this point, Monique appears to be disclosing that Winfrey had told her that her brother, rather than her divorced parents, would be the star of the show. When asked about this after the interview, Winfrey reportedly stopped answering Monique's calls. Later, after confronting Winfrey at an event, Monique said that the comedian had admitted that Winfrey had apologized and disclosed that Monique's family had suddenly shown up that day, but the comedian found it hard to believe. However, it appears that Winfrey's career may be nearing its conclusion as a result of the public's opposition to Oprah. Will Oprah be able to correct the record, though, or is this celebrity teaming actually effective? That concludes the video. Please feel free to comment your ideas below. Click the bell symbol for additional updates.